Hi, in this slide I want to dive a little bit deeper in the second stop of the four iterative stops in the Wheel of Learning, which is to come up with theories. So first we ask questions, then we come up with theories. Really theories to a certain degree are also ideas. And so to sort of brainstorm and come up with a lot of ideas, um, we can do something called uh, ideation, ideation. So if you go to uh, Google Images and, and type this phrase in, you'll come across, you know, a bunch of stuff. And the idea is really uh, we brainstorm, we kind of diverge. We kind of come up with a lot of ideas that are a little bit off the mark or a little bit whacked out or whatever. Um, but that's that's the beginning of the pipeline. So the best way to have one fantastic good theory or idea is to start with a lot of okay ones. And once we get a lot of okay ones, we can get sort of 360 degree input and say, well, looking at all these ideas, let's go back to step one. Are we really asking the right best question to begin with? Are we focused on a symptom as opposed to the root, root, root cause? Um, once we get down to, uh, you know, better theories or ideas, we might say, well, before we try to solve, re, you know, reinvent the wheel, are there other channels of distribution that have bigger volumes of these kind of uh, extremities. You know, we're, we're looking at, at an item, uh, a popular item in our warehouse that's a, the biggest loser. It gets picked all day long, but it's a small margin dollar per pick. So our cost of picking is a lot greater than the margin dollar in the pick. So we can look at the customers that are buying it and see those patterns and who they buy it and why do they buy it so often by the teaspoon and could we sell it to them by the pail and how would we get it packaged by the pail or how would we convince them to just buy it by the pail? You know, let's go look at other channels to see how they've solved these kinds of small pick problems. And, and the answers are out there. So we don't, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We just have to get out of our little world and get some ideas from other places and bring them back and make them our own. Uh, and a lot of the ideas very quickly will get better or worse if we can do what, what I would call quick 1050 sort of thought experiments or research. If we could just spend 15 minutes talking to the right one or two people, you know, with what three, four questions, we're very quickly going to flesh out more of what's going on and that'll shake out some of the ideas and make other ones look better. So once we have refined the idea list down to very few best, 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 best ideas, then we're ready to do step three, which is design a best return on investment experiment. The assumption being we're not going to hit it out of the park the first time. We're, we're probably going to fail, but if our cost is X and the value we learn is two or three or four X, then that's a tuitional bargain. So how do we create uh, best experiments and I have nine adjectives, actually a tenth one has sort of creeped in over time, that begin with F, just, you know, sort of a goofy alliteration kind of idea. So the next slide, we'll start looking at how we design good experiments. Thank you.